Well, now that Thanksgiving is over, what on earth do you do with all of that leftover turkey? We've got some good news for you. The Gooseberry Patch Cookbook 101 Autumn Recipes has some great ideas, and the authors are here with us, Joanne Martin and Vicki Hutchins. Thank you, ladies, Hi, for being thanks here. thanks for having us. Okay. We're making some really fun stuff today. This is barbecue turkey sandwiches, yes. which is really the perfect thing to do. Make sandwiches. Everyone does that after the holidays. Well, it's a different exactly. flavor. You've had gravy the day before. You've had cranberries. So it's a totally different twist to get a tangy barbecue sauce in there. You and, know, just something and, really different. And what's great is you can put it in the uh, crock pot and uh, go out shopping. And shopping actually, done. you can put a pack of buns right there, and probably by the time you get home, it'll be gone. So. Crock pot is easy. I yeah. like that idea. Yeah. Easy and is we've, good. We've also got some leftover mashed potatoes that we're going to make some soup with. So. Let's Better get, get started. started. Yeah, go ahead and get started. I've okay. got this turned on for you. Okay, we put some butter in here okay. and some onions. Got those simmering. Okay. okay. Go ahead. Got Worcestershire. We're going to make the barbecue sauce. Oh. And vinegar. It's, it's really cider vinegar. Sauce this one's got some vinegar in it. So it's yeah, got a cider bit vinegar. Of kick, and it's got a little bit of Dijon mustard. Cinnamon. Ooh. A little bit of water. Water. A little bit of mustard. It's amazing. Brown how sugar. Just a few things can really make a difference. Mm hmm. And really, if you do put exactly. it in a slow cooker, it's even better. That's it's simmering really, all day yes. long. You know, it kind of absorbs in, you know, the, the flavors in the Tomato meat. Tomato sauce. And then we have ketchup. And that's it. That's it. Mm -hmm. And that's the sauce. Yeah. That's so easy. And then you just simmer it for a little bit. Get it nice and nice and warm. It takes I'll about 30 minutes. Up a little bit. 30 yeah. minutes? Yeah. Okay. And yeah. then this is leftover turkey that's sliced that we just chopped up. Okay. It's, um, you don't need to warm it or anything. It's already been cooked. And you literally just mix that up and put it on a sandwich. This is the finished product up here. This yeah, is what it made some yummy exactly. sandwiches right there. You can put them on some toasted buns, and you're set to go. Oh, that and looks then we've got delicious. our, our um, potato soup here that we started with some bacon. I think right, mm -hmm. we had some onions and some bacon. We simmered those in a, in a skillet. Okay. Um, we added our leftover mashed potatoes. I think we had two mm -hmm. or three cups. Mm -hmm. And some we milk. Had salt. Some milk and a can of condensed cream of chicken soup. Stir exactly. it all up. Heated it up, simmered it. Just heat it through then, about 20 minutes. Yeah, That's it's better. really satisfying and hearty. Mm -hmm. It's got, we've garnished it here with some bacon mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. some scallions so and some cheddar mm -hmm. cheese. It and is. I don't know if Perfect. you want to try a bite. Oh, it's like it. loaded baked it. potato soup. Loaded exactly. Mm -hmm. It is okay. so warm and hearty. Now we can find both of these recipes in 101 Autumn Recipes. You yes. can, or our website okay. at www.gooseberrypatch.com. Mm -hmm. We've got oh. these recipes and lots of other ones. And we encourage everyone to send recipes to us. And if they get chosen, we'll send them a free cookbook. Okay. Vicki, do you want to read this teleprompter for me so I can eat this? <laughs> I'll try. Go okay, go ahead. Give it a whirl. We put the recipes on our website. Go to fox28columbus.com and click on recipes. Good job. Yeah. Yeah. You're hired. <laughs> Thank you so much, ladies. Thank you. I appreciate it. And this is delicious, by the way. Mm. So good. Good.